Good afternoon and welcome to AAA's latest Facebook Live. My name is David Bennett. And I'm Todd. So we're here to talk to you in honor of Earth Day to talk about the importance of batteries and also recycling of these batteries. That's right. So we have a couple facts that we want to lead you off with. So Todd, give me a couple facts about batteries sure. that most people probably do not know. Did you know that 99.3% of all automotive batteries are recycled, making wow. it the number one consumer product in the United States that's recycled. The number one product, number one. that's pretty impressive. Yes. What are some other uh, did you know facts about batteries? That uh, every brand new battery, 90, 80% of the content of every brand new battery is made from recycled material. Okay, so 99.3% mm -hmm. of it's recyclable, 80% yeah. of it then of a new battery is made, up is made of a recyclable that's material. Right. That's, that's right. great. Uh, I think it's very important. Again, my name's David and this is Todd. As we go through this presentation today, uh, if you have any questions, please leave, uh, leave them in the comments section and we'll try to answer them uh, throughout this broadcast. If not, we'll get to them a little bit later this afternoon. So we know that batteries are recyclable. What are some other facts, maybe about AAA and batteries? Okay, well, yeah, uh, if you look at the way the battery is made, it's, it's, it's basically three major components. Okay. It's, it's the plastic, right? okay? And then inside you have lead, lead plates and lead oxide paste that goes on the plates. And then in the middle, in between all the plates is, uh, is, is acid, you know, okay. fluid acid. So it's called a flooded lead acid right. battery. So, so that, that acid is really the one that really does the most damage to the environment. Yeah, okay. well all three, plastic, lead, and acid Good are, point. are harmful so, for the environment. Yeah, right. so I think if, if anything that you get out of this episode is to make sure that if you have a car battery that you are properly recycling that, you talk with your, munici your municipality to find out the proper ways right. to dispose of your battery. That's right. Okay, so now we know, um, you know, the importance of recycling mm -hmm. and some of the little facts about that. You know, here at AAA, we, we do about 30 million road service events a year. How many yeah. of them are roughly uh, caused by an electrical system or a battery? Well, that's, that's a great question, Dave. Uh, um, last year alone, we received 8.2 million calls just related to battery-related issues. Wow. From our members. 8.2 million mm -hmm. calls that that's we're right. getting. So I think a, an important thing there is, is so of that, um, do they just coming out and testing the battery? Or? Oh, no, no, we have, a, we have a mobile solution, AAA, so okay. we can come out to you, we can do a system diagnostic of your battery, right. your starter and your charging system, Correct. and uh, should your battery need replacing, we have uh, AAA branded batteries that we can replace right on the spot. Very nice, so I got a question on, on battery length, or battery life. Yeah. What's, what's the typical lifespan of a battery? Well, in North America, batteries typically last between three and five years on average. There's outliers, but right. on average, three to five years. So three to five years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are some of those outliers? What are some of the things that uh, decrease the battery life? Is there one or two that come to mind? There's two primary ones. Okay. I think the first one is really uh, your, your climate. Uh, mm -hmm. The climate you live in uh, determines the length of life of the battery. Right. And I think the second uh, most uh, popular, or not popular, but the second contributor would be uh, your habits, your driving habits. Your driving habits. Yeah. So let's first talk about the first one. So temperature. Um, is, is colder or warm climate better for the vehicle? Well, a lot of people tend to believe that cold is worse for the vehicle. Right. Okay. So we got a little chart here. Help us, uh, help me see what, uh, walk us through what we're, we're looking at here. Tom. Or not the vehicle, but the battery itself. Correct. Um, but in essence, really, it's heat. Um, you can see here that uh, in a hotter climate, the battery doesn't last as long as it does in a colder climate. And that's because heat has a higher effect on degradation of the battery. So hot climate degrades the battery faster. However, in cold, cold climate, you need more energy to start the vehicle. So the battery's been deteriorated by the heat. You get a really cold spell, you go to start your car and your car won't start. So people think the cold killed my battery, but really it's the heat. Right, so it's taking more energy than in a colder climate to go ahead and uh, crank the engine crank over, the right? right. Mm -hmm. So that's why most people are thinking about that. So hopefully right. that's a good tidbit that most people are not thinking about there. So we know the temperature is an issue, though there's another issue that you mentioned that was driving habits. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about driving habits. So, you know, today's cars are technically advanced. You have a lot of loads on the battery, everything from uh, sensors to navigation to things plugged into your accessory outlets. And so if you are driving, a lot of very short trips where right. you're starting the car, everything's on, turning the car off, starting the car, everything's on, turning the car off, and you're not driving for any length of time, you're not giving the vehicle sufficient time to char recharge the battery um, all the way. Okay. So, so almost similar to a cell phone, one that you right, just kind of plug right. in and plug out for like 
five minutes yeah. at a time, right? You talk on your phone for an hour and right. you, you don't plug it in and yeah, it'll go dead. So you could shorten the length, uh, the yeah. time span or life period of that battery. Doesn't mean the battery's bad, it just no. means it's, it's dead. Agreed. <laughs> so I think, uh, so now we know that climate is one of the issues. Right. Uh, shorter driving habits can cause a, uh, a shorter battery life. What about uh, leaving things plugged in with the accessory ports? Well, older vehicles, accessory ports remain active, so it's essential to unplug them. But in newer vehicles, most modern vehicles, uh, you turn the vehicle off and the accessory ports um, are not live any okay. longer. But we just think it's a good habit, a good practice for everybody to unplug everything because as soon as you start the vehicle and uh, you have things plugging accessory ports, they're immediately pulling a drain on the battery as well while you're starting the vehicle. Okay. Again, I'm David and this is Todd. If you have any questions as we go through this, please feel free to put them in the comments section. We'll try to get to them. Uh, or we'll get to them a little bit later. Right. So now there's three other items. What about, uh, you know, I parked my car in the garage. Can I just leave my key fob in there and just walk into the house? That's or is, also, that, or yeah. is there an issue with that? No, that's a good question. Um, you know, a lot of cars today also have the smart technology where you, you can just touch the vehicle to unlock it and lock it. Right. That's also a proximity of the key to the vehicle. So okay. if you leave the key inside your vehicle in the garage at night, it's constantly talking with the car. So that could also Drain, be draining your battery. So you want to make sure the key's further away from the car where you can't physically open it and unlock Okay, so yeah, make sure you go ahead and take it in the house, put it on the uh, your key ring or on the kitchen counter, wherever you, right. you typically leave it. So I think it's a great point that most people aren't uh, thinking about. Um, so what about, so you know, it's time you, you got a bad battery. There are really three options that I can that I can think of. One is you could do it yourself. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Two is you could take it to your local repair facility if you have one. If you don't know where it, uh, if you don't have a relationship with a local repair facility, please visit AAA.com slash auto repair for a list of the 7,000 repair facilities in North America. Mm -hmm. Or third, you could simply call AAA, right? Yep, we have a mobile solution. Okay, so how do you call AAA? You can either call 1-800-AAA-HELP or you can go to AAA.com forward slash battery. Okay, so we got a question that's come in from Ryan. Um, are all caller batteries the same? Uh, Ryan says that his car calls for a, uh, an AGM battery. Can he install just a normal or a regular battery? Um, no, there are different types of flooded lead acid technology. In fact, for instance, this, this battery here is an AGM, which stands okay, for it, absorbed glass and mat. And it says it on it, right? Yeah, and it says it on top. Okay, where this one does not. Okay. But, but bottom line, um, each battery, are, there are different sizes, they have different specifications, so we recommend you don't install anything in your vehicle other than what your manufacturer um, specification recommends for that vehicle. Okay, um, so I think one of the things you need to be careful of is you're going to do it yourself. I think that's a big uh, important thing is make sure that you understand the proper battery that you need to put in there. Absolutely. So it's about fit, mm -hmm. it's about uh, not just the cold cranking amps, but also the proper size correct. because you want to make sure it fits in that battery tray, right? That's correct, yeah. If it doesn't properly fit, then the hold down can't hold it secure and vibration, if it's rattling around inside the engine bay, vibration also can shorten the life of the battery. So I think that's a, an, uh, a huge point is make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to end up replacing the battery your, right. yourself. So we've got another question came in from Tiffany. Do car batteries give any warning before they die? Sometimes so, yeah. they do, sometimes yeah. they don't. Yeah. If you have this type of battery, an AGM, very little warning typically, but a regular flooded lead acid battery, yes, you can have some warning signs. Uh, maybe the car cranks hard if you... Uh, uh, cranks hard, you mean slowly, Slowly, right? yeah, okay. slowly. Um, I, I think another yeah. thing could be is uh, sometimes your alternator light may come on or the battery light, right. which indicates probably a fault that your battery is not charged properly, which could indicate that there's a, uh, a charging system issue that your battery or your alternator needs to be tested. Right. So, you know, I, I think one question for that is, okay, um, if I'm gonna have the battery replaced, I call AAA, are they gonna come out and just replace my battery or are they gonna test the whole system? We're gonna test everything. Uh, we're gonna test the electrical system as far as uh, starting and charging systems of the, and the battery itself. Right. And we'll diagnose uh, what the real problem is. And I think that's important to note because not all the times that it is a battery that right. needs to be replaced. Because you, I think, how many times did we uh, go out on a battery service or electrical uh, uh, call last year? Well, last year, as, as I mentioned, 8.2 million uh, members called us for a battery-related issue. Okay. And of those, we replaced 2 million batteries on the spot. So 25% of the time, right. it could be another issue. Right. right, or the battery could just merely be discharged. Correct, so I think that's the thing. You may need to be simply recharged. Mm -hmm. Maybe they left something on, as we yeah. talked about the accessory ports. But I think also 
uh, it could be another contributing factor. So it could be your alternator, your starter, things like that. So that's why I think it's very important to have all components checked out. And AAA will also give you a report on that too, right? That's right, yeah, okay. a printed report or an electronic report via email. Nice, we have another question came in from Christy, and what's the proper way to clean battery terminals? How about if I take this one, Todd? Sure, Go How's ahead. that? <laughs> so I think the, the proper way to do it is to use baking soda and water. First thing you want to do is disconnect the, uh, the negative uh, uh, battery terminal, use a wire brush mixed with uh, some baking soda and water, and scrub it with that clean and put some water on there just to kind of wash it away. Mm -hmm. Leave the, the negative battery terminal disconnected, mm -hmm. then do the same thing with the positive one. Right. Once that's clean, put it back on in the same, in the same order that you removed it, which would be uh, the positive first, then the, into negative. Mm -hmm. But you only need to do it if you see that corrosion in there, okay. right? That's right, yeah, you don't need to do it unless you see corrosion. Okay, so we have another question that came in from Cliff, and have automatic headlight switches reduced the number of battery-related issues? I'd say overall, yeah, because leaving the lights on is no longer an issue because when you turn the vehicle off, the lights go off as well. Correct. Yes. So technology is a good thing, but it can also be harmful if you have a short in there That's and right. all of a sudden you think it's going to happen and it doesn't and you just walked out. So got another question. They're coming in. We appreciate the questions. Thank Keep you, them John. coming. John's got um, one. So is a, is a more powerful battery better? So I think that gets into the proper fit, the size. Yeah. It's not just physical size, right? right. It's about... The cranking in, the cold cranking in. Correct. No, and again, back to AAA does not recommend installing anything other than what your, your vehicle's uh, specification for the manufacturer call for. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we've talked a little bit about the battery life and how, how long it lasts. Uh, you know, we know that in colder climates it lasts a little bit better in warmer climates, right? Correct. Um, we talked about some of the accessory parts that, that, that uh, lower the battery life. So what's a typical warranty on, on, a, on a battery? Well, right now we're seeing across the industry, typically you'll, a battery will have a two or three year free replacement warranty, okay. and then that's pretty much it. Right. Um, you know, there's, again, there's outliers, outliers there, right. but that's what we're seeing typically across the industry. Okay, and so what's AAA's battery, just so we know? AAA's battery warranty is, is six years, 72 months. That's wow. three years of replacement okay. and three years of a discount period. Nice, so that's pretty good. So again, if you have an issue, you just call 1-800-AAA-HELP. We'll come out and uh, help. Please keep your questions coming. We have another one that's uh, jumped in here. It is, do some cars have more than one battery? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, actually, yes, that's true. Um, uh, especially hybrids. Hybrids have batteries that, uh, that, that move the vehicle, but they right. also have a starter battery um, that, uh, that starts the engine so too. It's, yeah, it's more like an accessory right. type right. battery that it, when the, the motor yeah. kicks in. Yeah, you know, okay. and some very large pickup trucks, diesel pickup trucks will have two batteries in them as well. So, so yes. yeah, a great it, point. It can be, yes. Yeah, so I, I think it's something to keep in mind. And I think also that brings to a point, battery location is different. Oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, let's face it, they could be underneath the hood, it could be underneath your back seat, it could be in the trunk. Trunk, a lot of them in the trunk. And I, yeah, and I know some that are even in the wheel well. Yeah. So you actually have to remove the tire, pick, get into the, the, to the wheel, wheel well. To get to the battery. To, just to get have to the access, battery. Right. Yeah, that one's fun to do, let me tell you. Uh, so I do have another question in here from Ricky. Do I get a discount on the battery as a AAA member? Yes, you do. Yes, okay. uh, AAA offers our members a discount on the battery. It's a minimum of, of $25, but it depends on the price of the battery. Right. Yes. So, if I'm, if, you know, we talked about the health of the battery and the life of the battery. If I'm going to go away on a trip, or if I'm a snowbird and I'm coming down mm -hmm. here, uh, coming down to Florida, and I'm going to leave my vehicle in, uh, in the north, do I disconnect the battery? What's the best thing to do? Yeah, a lot of people do. Um, disconnecting the battery is one way to, to address the problem or address the situation of not driving the vehicle, but all that really does is remove the possibility of external loads draining the battery. Okay. Um, the battery will still continue to self-discharge if you're not driving it and charging right. it frequently. So what we recommend, what AAA recommends, is you use a battery tender or a battery maintainer uh, on that battery. And I, I think that's a great point because those are different than trickle chargers. Those of us that are probably a that's little right. bit older remember a trickle charger which basically continually sends, uh, recharges the battery. It's continually, continually sending energy into that battery to recharge it. And that could overcharge the battery, which could then shorten the life of that battery. Right. So what you want to do is this battery tender or maintainer, right. it basically just monitors the life of the battery. When it drops below a certain voltage, it brings it back Slowly. up to the proper mm -hmm. state of charge then shuts off, and then when it happens again. So that's, and you can leave it on indefinitely. Yeah, so there you go. So it's very easy to do, makes it a lot uh, right. cleaner and uh, very easy to, to uh, connect. So where can you get some of these battery tenders or maintainers? 
Well, you can go online or you can go, you call your local AAA club. They can right. assist you with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a uh, question coming in. It's a, a do it yourself question. And it's should I wear gloves or protective glasses when I clean the terminals? Um, absolutely. That's okay. a question from Tim. Yeah, the acid, like, and as corrosive an acid can do damage. So we always recommend protective eye, eye right. protection so you don't have the risk of acid in your face and also gloves for the same thing. To yeah, and you could also, again, cause a spark by disconnecting it improperly right. and then you have a gas, uh, a battery that is uh, exuding gases, you could cause a fire. So That's you true. definitely want to make sure that you're comfortable doing it. If not, take it to a repair facility or simply call AAA. Exactly. So I think it's a great, great uh, point. So we got that, uh, we're, we're set with understanding how to easily get, get our battery uh, replaced easily, call AAA, you know, you get uh, a nice warranty there. Um, how can you find out more information about it? Is there a website or someplace that we can yep. visit? Yes, absolutely. Go to AAA.com forward slash battery. Okay. Or call your local club at 1-800-AAA-HELP. Uh, Great. So I think those are some pretty good, interesting uh, statistics on battery. Um, again, we're talking about batteries, we're talking about recycling and being good for the environment. Yep. Uh, as we uh, wrap this up now, we, we take a look at if there's any, any questions that you have, continue to put them in there. We'll, we'll come back to them on the, yeah. on, um, um, uh, later on today. If there's anything you, you want us to talk about in the next episode, yeah, right? Absolutely. please leave those in the comments section. We'll, we'll come back to that. But on, on behalf of uh, Todd and AAA, my name's David. And as we wrap this up and talk about Earth Day and the, and the idea of recycling batteries, you know, one of the things that AAA is, is very, uh, uh, a big proponent about is, we'll come out and rescue you That's right. when you're stranded. We'll replace the battery. Yeah, I the believe you said there. wherever you're located. Wherever you're at. Could be at your place of business, on the side of the road, at your home. And then we also recycle the battery, correct? Right. Every battery we replace, we recycle. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Drive safely. Happy Earth Day.